Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Today we're building the second of the Electrosmith modules, the 2164 Duo VCA. This is a very clean Duo VCA based on a high quality chip, the 2164. The first input is normalized to the second in case you want to use both VCAs with the same signal and the CV inputs are normalized to a positive voltage so you can open them up by just turning up the CV attenuators when no CV is connected. There are LEDs for each VCA to indicate activity at the outputs. The VCAs are DC coupled, therefore they can be used for both audio and control voltages. In the kit box you get the panel, the PCB, the jacks, headers, LEDs, mounting screws, pots, power cable, and the pre-assembled SMD submodule, as well as nice rubberized knobs. I assembled this the same way as the VCO. First the power header, then the header assembly for the submodule. Then I removed the submodule and started snapping on the jacks, pots and LEDs without soldering anything yet. Finally I placed the panel, tightened all the nuts, then turned it around, pushed the LEDs so they barely stuck out of the holes, bent out their legs, and proceeded to solder everything up. Be extra careful not to burn the submodule headers with the iron. Trim the LED legs, then plug in the submodule and stick on the knobs. Check the power headers for shorts and plug it in to test. No calibration required on this one. Now let's check it out. So let's set up a little voice using all three of the Electrosmith modules that I have. I'm going to send both the pulse wave and the saw wave into the dual inputs of my 2144 4 pole low pass filter. And we'll send the output to the input of the first VCA. We'll take the output into the oscilloscope and from the scope to my mixer. Now already if I turn manually turn this knob over here Ah, look, it's pinging because I have the resonance all the way high. Very smooth knob, and you get a nice little LED indicating the output activity here. Now, what's cool too is that these VCAs are normalized between them, but they're independent as far as the CV goes. So I can turn this one down and I still see an output out of this one over here. So that can be pretty cool. You can do, for example, stereo panning using the two of them. So let's plug the other one into the other input on my stereo mixer here. And now I can manually pan them by managing those two volumes together. But I can also take two opposing LFOs and send them one to each VCA. And there you have it. I took two opposing LFOs from the filter eight and we're getting auto pan. Leslie type effect. That was so easy to do. <laughs> All right, now let's send them audio rate and see how it reacts as AM. Cool. A stereo ring modulator effect going on here.
Yeah, you can truly never have too many VCAs. at all. If I remove the, the CVs here. Cool. Let's do a little voice. We'll take the LFO to the filter cutoff. Let's make that decay real quick now. sequence see how snappy it can get That's it. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. You can pitch in on my Patreon to help me out too. See you soon and stay noisy.